Hey, old blue. How's it going? Got some stuff we gotta do today. We are gonna get you bathed yet, don't worry. Don't worry, we're taking you to the Blue Beacon in Fargo next week. We're getting the most expensive package they got. We're gonna treat you good. We're gonna get all of this off of you. Look at this. You're still shiny under there. You see that? It still shines. You just, you know what? You just need, just need a little bit of tension, okay? It's coming. Patience. Our trailer is still out on a rental. They're having a good time. It's good to hear. I'm gonna bring my pickup truck in here now and unload a few things. Kind of a big exciting day for me today. My new cooler came in. But wait, it's not, it's not a cooler, it's a fridge that looks like a cooler. It's in the back of the pickup right now. Oh, one more thing. Oh, it's been an exciting day of purchasing things. I got a new printer. I have a, a printer on my desk over there. It's an OfficeJet 4500G. It takes 901 ink cartridges. Now, I don't know if this information I got was bad, but I went into Staples here in town, which is like an electronics store, sort of like Best Buy. So I went into Staples and I said, hey, I need 901 printer ink for my HP printer. Do you have it? No, we don't. Are you gonna get it? No. Oh, I mean, I know it's an old printer. Did they discontinue it? Yeah. I went on Amazon, I'm like, okay, I'll just buy it on Amazon. Fine, you have it in the store? I, could, I know, I'll go find it on Amazon. So I went on to Amazon and I looked it up. $150 for one black cartridge. So I guess they really did discontinue them and now like the remaining ones are being sold for astronomical prices. It's so like, no, 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 no. I, I, I'm not paying $150 for one cartridge. I would, I would need two, I always buy two. So that'd be what, $300 for two cartridges that last me a couple of months? I'm not paying $300. I'll just buy a new printer. So I, brought a new, I bought a new printer for 150 bucks with ink that they had in stock. So we got a new printer to unbox too. If Old Blue is not out there and I'm not making money, I guess I may as well be spending money, right? That's how it works. If I'm not working, I'm spending money. That's why sometimes I just like to work steady for a, a set amount of time because I know in that time I'm making money. As soon as I stop working and I come home, now I'm spending money. But eventually I gotta go and make money so that I can come back home again and spend more money. We're in one of those times right now where we're spending money. But at least we have the rental business. Actually, you know what? Some of you have been asking. The rental business has actually been going pretty good. I, I've been quite pleasantly surprised. We'll talk more about it in a bit. But we're fully, pretty much fully booked through August already. So uh, it's just bang, bang, bang. Bookings have been coming in. Everything's been going great. The renters have been enjoying it. Everything has been coming back in one piece the way it should. They've been taking care of it. Knock on wood. So far it's been going really good and hopefully in the future we can expand it to have more models to rent out. And more of those too. You guys wanna drive for me? I'm gonna be looking for drivers in the future. I'm gonna buy another one. Not right away, first a house. Before any of this, we have to buy a house. Once we buy the house, I wanna buy another one of those. And I need one of you to drive it for me. You wanna take, you wanna, wanna drive, drive one of my trucks? Are you gonna take care of it? Are you gonna keep it clean? I'll be hiring in uh, a year or two. Maybe we can get five of these going. Five old blues. I want them all to be W9s. If, you, if you're gonna drive for me, you're gonna drive a nice truck. But also if you're gonna drive for me, you're gonna take care of my truck. That's just, those two go hand in hand, okay? We're gonna have a reward system for taking care of my truck. If you keep it clean on the inside and the outside, there'll be like random inspections once every three months. I walk in there, just do a zero to five star review on how clean you keep my truck. And if you get a five star review, you get a bonus. Okay, we'll talk about that in like a year or two. Let's go get the pickup in here and uh, we'll talk more about these things I'm gonna unbox. I'm excited, it's gonna be a good day. sweep this out first because if I walk too much on this because this dirt gets tracked in when I back in right and if I walk too much on that it sticks to my shoes and then it gets everywhere and then it's much then I gotta sweep the whole shop instead of you know just where the dirt is crickets crickets 
We got a cricket. I wouldn't call it a problem, because it's not bad. It's just whenever I open the doors, they like to come inside, because it's dry and warm in here, I guess, eh? But made in China. If you think about it, are we not able to make barbecues here in North America? Is it really better? Well, you know what? I'm going to leave this in the box, actually, until the RV gets... No, i got to get it out of the plastic. I've got to get it ready. Because I'm going to have to test it once we get the trailer back. And I can't test it until then because it connects up to the trailer. I don't have the adapter that will connect it to a regular propane tank directly. It's got to go through the trailer, right? Or maybe it comes with the adapter. Does it come with the adapter? That would be cool. But I don't have a propane tank here that's full. They're both on the trailer. I have a propane tank at home, no? Come on. We love spending money. All of us do. Don't lie to me. This is investment money, though. This money will get back. Exactly like our old one. Good, good, good. And then this is the mount. See, the mount we have now was a little bit rusted. So this is the new mount. It's gonna look brand new. So when you rent something, like a trailer, you want everything to look nice, right? Doing my best. The beginning of August here has been kind of, it's been slow and unscheduled vacation time. I, I wasn't planning on taking all this time off, but while we're here, we're getting all this stuff done. We're getting back on the road soon, though, a couple of days. So you guys who like the truck and stuff, don't worry. You're actually, uh, Old Blue is holding you up right now. Don't worry, we're gonna get the truck running soon. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. You getting hungry yet? Ah, and instructions. Ah, don't need that. Cool, it's not exactly like the old one. The old one didn't have this little uh, uh, second level here. See that? The other one didn't have that top grill up there. This one does. It's not detachable though, so. I mean, it's a, a little camping grill, right? A few steaks, a few burgers. My mouth is watering just opening this. I'm hungry. Ta-da! The handles on both sides. Put the hose to connect to the trailer there. The brand new mount to mount it to the trailer. Open this up here and... Yeah, I left the instructions in here, just in, just in case. I didn't throw them out. And there you go, brand new barbecue for the rental. So as soon as the trailer comes back next week, Get that mounted on there and try it out. Might cook a steak or two myself, you know, just for a proper trial. For science. You know, science. You don't know if it's gonna be able to cook a tasty steak unless if you cook a tasty steak on it. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, you guys are expensive. Don't go falling off. You guys are expensive, okay? I haven't got my GoPro yet. Speaking of which, I gotta see if it's been delivered yet. You want to see my home screen every time I open my phone? Look. Doesn't that just make you happy? Every time I open my phone, it makes me so happy. So we got to check to see if... Uh, has the GoPro arrived? Has it arrived? Has it been delivered? It has been delivered. Okay, so we're going to open this cooler up in a bit. I'm going to quickly run back over there grab my GoPro before that they close up there. It's here! Hero 8. I know it's not a new GoPro. The new GoPro is like, uh, I wanted to get the GoPro Max. That's the best one. It's got like the 360 views and everything, but later. We're still trying to save up for a house. It's the whole goal of everything. Hey, let's do this. So this is just fine. That's all I need. This is what I have on my head. It's an action camera for road shots and scenery. I need a GoPro. It's part of my essential arsenal for vlogging on the road. It's also very easy if you're walking into public places and stuff, just to like slip it in your pocket and pull it out, wham! Now you're vlogging, right in your face. And I got a case that comes along with this. Ooh, oh, and look at this, I got another thing. That's right, I forgot I ordered that too. It comes with it. A couple of mounts, wow, wow, wow. And here's the sucker himself. Eight seconds. Put that down. So we're safe. This is what I've always filmed my vlogs with. Just a simple uh, GoPro. And I like the Hero 8s. 
because they have better low light capabilities, in my opinion, than uh, the Hero 10s and 9s. But eventually, like once we buy a house and we're able to start spending more money on fun stuff uh, and uh, things like that, I want to get the GoPro Max. But who knows what they'll have by that time. There'll probably be something even better than that. Okay, let's we'll take all these little flapper thingers off. Okay, okay. Baj. Got a Baj you. I'll even take this back one off. Okay. Is there a battery in here? Not yet. Okay. I did order two batteries with it, so where'd they go? They gotta be in here somewhere. I have to charge the two batteries that came with it. They were in there, but I have charged batteries already. That's what, another reason I bought the 8 is because I have all the accessories for the 8 already. I already had a battery that was charged, ready to go. I've got the chargers. It just works out better this way. Plop that in there. Lay it in there. Turn her on. Turn her on. Turn her on. What dates do? What's going on here? Don't tell me this is a faulty one. That'd just be my luck, right? One second. You guys aren't angled here very well. Here, let me put that under you. There you go. Look at my face, not at my belly. Weirdos. For some reason it doesn't want to turn on. Do I have to hold it? The light on the front is staying on. Usually it goes on and off. Interesting, interesting. One second, I'm gonna go get one of the batteries that came with it and see if it's just being picky. All right, the batteries that come, came with it is obviously a, a GoPro, one second here. There you go, a GoPro brand. The other one is an off brand that I bought just for extra batteries, but those were charged. These aren't quite charged yet, but maybe, maybe this GoPro only wants to run off the GoPro batteries. That'd be smart if I was the CEO of GoPro. I would do that too. I wouldn't want people buying cheap knockoffs to operate my stuff. I would want them to wear, buy my up-priced stuff so that my stuff will work. Come on, I know how to use batteries. Or I know, I know how to use GoPros. What's going on here? Oh. For a second there I thought it turned on. Nope. Holding it, holding it, holding it. If I got a faulty one, I'm going to be kind of... Come on. Product doesn't work. It's faulty. Won't turn on. I've tried everything, so, uh... Gotta send it back. Get a replacement. This is still like a $475 camera. You'd expect it to work when it gets here. I guess every, every now and then. That's really disappointing. I gotta figure out how to do this return process. Gotta put these return labels on it and send it back. Just my luck, right? I'll just buy one in person if they have an eight. If not, I'll just have to order another one, but I'm gonna find a different supplier. Then again, maybe, you know what happens? It happens. You know, there's faulty stuff out there, faulty electronics. I just happen to be the unlucky guy who has to deal with it now. I guess it's my turn. We all have to go through this sometime or other. Back to the post office I go. Hi ho, hi ho. Off to the post office I go with my faulty GoPro to return it and get my money back. Hopefully the post office is still open. I don't even know if it's still open. It's ah, oh, it's almost five o'clock. Three min, two minutes to five. There's no way a government service is still open. Uh, we could have made that light if you were doing the speed limit, my friend. My friend, the speed limit was 50, not 25. Now I gotta sit at the red light. There's the post office right there to the right. I bet you anything they're closed. I bet you anything they're closed. I better run. We made it. We made it. We're a little wet, but we made it. 
I think I did all, I think I did it all correct. I don't do returns on Amazon that often, but it happens. You got a faulty GoPro, I had to send her back to sender. Send her, send her back to sender. Send it back to sender. My Canadian gets mixed up sometimes. Send her back. Send her, bud. All right. Give me my money back. Apparently I gotta wait like two weeks or something now. I don't know. I'm gonna go to Staples. Uh, is Staples a Canadian company or is it American? I don't know. We have a Staples in town. We don't have a Best Buy. I don't see if they got any GoPros there. I want an 8. Like I said, I want a Hero 8. Let's see what they have. It's not getting any closer. They're open till 6. They're open for a whole nother hour yet. Wow, Steinbeck. 6 o'clock. Staying up late now, getting rowdy, aren't we? Steinbeck is known for everything closing way too early. Got a little bit of moisture outside today. Gotta get myself back to the other side of town. This is where a GoPro would come in very handy, you know? This camera doesn't always want to focus on what I wanted to focus on outside. Especially when it's raining. Okay, this cross street does not have a stop sign. Let's not get T-boned here. Give her! We're good. We're good. Staples. Kinda... Kinda like... One second. See? It's kinda like, uh... Best Buy. It's just really small. This is the old Canadian Tire building. This building used to be Canadian Tire. And then Canadian Tire got a real building over there, and they, they packed it full. Believe me, those of you from Steinbeck who go to Canadian Tire know exactly what I'm talking about. Canadian Tire and Steinbeck is way overstocked. I mean, it's good to have a lot of stock, right? But I guess they don't have very much room in their back, so they pack everything out onto the floor there. And you can barely walk around in the store. It's a massive store. You can barely walk around, and they got bikes hanging from the ceiling everywhere, and all kinds of other stuff hanging from the ceiling because they don't have any room for it on the floor. It's chaos in there, but uh, they most likely have what you need in stock, which is a lot more than we can say for Steinbeck Walmart that never has anything in stock. Scratch that idea. They do not have GoPros at Staples in Steinbeck. Not at all. Not even. He said he could, had he seen them at Sport Check before in the mall. Does Walmart carry GoPros? If I can't find one in Steinbeck, I'll just have to buy again off the internet, which is fine, but then I gotta wait for it. So I'll go find one. We'll keep looking around, but I did get something from Staples. I was running short on folders. Very important, very exciting. We got one. It's a Hero 10, so it's two newer, two versions newer, or generations newer. And I've already had one of these before, and that one broke. So I do have batteries and accessories for this one as well. So that'll work. And you know what's interesting? This 10 was cheaper than the 8 that I just returned. How does that work? So the GoPro with tax that I ordered off the internet, it had some accessories though. It had that, right? And it had that case and an extra battery. So there was some accessories with it. That whole thing cost $492. I returned that, they're gonna refund that. This 10, it only comes with one battery and it doesn't have that special fancy case that the other one did. But it's two generations newer. This was $470. But I also got $60 off because it was on sale at Sport Check. So I just saved money by having a faulty camera sent to me on Insta, on Amazon. Saved money. Cheaper. And I got a newer camera. Not bad. So I met Britt here uh, for supper at Prairie Donaire. Delicious. Uh, she had Theo with her, obviously, so I got to sit with Theo and Britt and have supper. Now it's time to go to the shop and set up the camera, set up our new printer, and set up that cooler. I still got a few things to do, and I don't want to be at the shop all night. I want to go home and have time to watch a movie and relax and hold Theo. So I only got a couple of hours now. So let's get back there and get her done. So we got that charging now. 
charge that up and we'll have that. This is uh, ink for my new printer, which I've got to set up yet. But first we're gonna set up this cooler. We have a vlog way back there <laughs> in my office that's getting ready to be uploaded. So we'll be done there right away. Oh boy. We're not, no, don't look at it. Don't look at it. It looks awful. So let's uh, unbox this and see what this is all about. And we'll see how fast this cools down while I edit another video. I'm still gonna have to find where those batteries are. I have extra batteries and a charger for my tent. I just don't know if they're in here. Since we moved, everything has still sort of just been placed wherever. I still need to go through everything. Who knows when I'll get to that. Probably winter sometime when other things don't need doing. But uh, could be at the house too. <coughs> Who knows? That GoPro is charging. So now for the big one. The cooler fridge. I am excited about this. Okay, so this is the cooler. Compressors down here. I gotta figure out how this works. You see this is the freezer side here and the fridge side. But from what I've seen on the reviews, you can take this thing, oh yeah, so you can take this thing right out. And there's a sensor in here that when you take this thing out, it automatically knows this is all one compartment and then you can either make the whole thing a fridge or the whole thing a freezer, like I was telling you. And how cool is that? It's got quite a bit of space in here. Aside from that little block there, that's the compressor. So this is going to be great. I'm gonna be able to actually have food with me, real food. And I can take the food from home instead of, you know, buying food every single meal. It's, there's only so many things I can take along that don't need to be refrigerated from home. And like I said earlier in the vlog, even sandwich meat, I put sandwich meat in that other cooler, it would last two days and then it would be bad. Like you don't want to eat it, bad. Ugh. So, let's we'll plug her in and see what happens. Reading the instructions here. Trucker Josh reads instructions sometimes. So I just want to make sure I get this right because I'm very excited about it. I don't want to break it and then have to return it. They probably wouldn't give me a refund. Okay, so this says that when the ambient air temperature outside is 25 Celsius or 77 Fahrenheit, this thing can keep as cool as minus 20 Celsius. That's nice. That's nice. Wow, that's amazing. That's gonna be so awesome. Okay, let's test it out, shall we? I'm gonna plug it in, and then I'm gonna go edit a vlog, and then we're gonna come back and see how cold it is. Oh, there's an app for it too. I have to figure out, where's the app? Using my app. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, app connection, there's a QR code here, nice. Cool, 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 cool. I will touch base with you when we've uh, had this thing on for a little while. We'll see how good it works. I'm just trying to figure out the app here now. But uh, here we go. So this is the temperature of the cooler of what it's at right now. I have it set at minus four Fahrenheit. So it's gonna go all the way down to there. This is the fridge. I have it set to 14 Fahrenheit. And it's currently at 47, so. See what happens. That's <laughs> so cool, so cool. I should probably have a product code or something that I could give you to buy one of these because you're probably going to want one too, but I don't have one. So if you, you want to look at one of these on Amazon, go on Amazon and look up the name Bodega Cooler. They have all kinds of different sizes and shapes and everything. Check them out. Uh, we'll see how it does for me here. If you want to see how it goes for me first. Speaking of trial runs, those tires, these Blackhawks are still doing great. Fantastic, uh, so far I've been very happy with my purchase. Well, unfortunately, I couldn't get it to connect to the app here. I'm having some trouble with it. It seems to need like a Wi-Fi connection. And I don't have a Wi-Fi connection here, I just have my hotspot from my cell phone. So I'm gonna take it home and see if I can figure out the app there. But the cooler is working great. That is awesome. It was almost all the way cooled down to zero by the time I unplugged it here. And it's only been 15 minutes or so. We'll test it out more at home. So we got everything figured out now and got it connected to my phone. It did need to use the home Wi-Fi for some reason. We're just cooling it down now. I changed it to Celsius. So the freezer part's at 17, negative 17 Celsius. And the fridge is at minus one, but that's going upwards. I set it for plus three. So just above, just above freezing. And test it out, see how it is. It didn't take too long to get there either can't even hear it. It's running right now. Like, listen, it's pretty quiet. 
pretty good, eh? So where is the rest of the family? What's going on back here? What's going on back here? We got the the bouncer right here, ready to bounce anybody out of here who's not supposed to be in here. Dad, I'm gonna need to check your ID. I'm gonna need to check your ID. Yeah, I'm his muscle. Chevy's gonna kick me out. Enjoying your new bouncer, bud. He's just fascinated by it all the time. Whenever he gets put in here, it's like a whole new world. <laughs> it's quite a bit to take in. There's a lot of colors in this room. So. Sensory overload. It really is. Yeah. Likes that seahorse, though. He really does, yeah. I think he likes the puffer fish with the mirror over there, too, but he can't see it. Turn around, buddy. There you go. Wow. What's this? What's this guy? Wow. Holy smokes. So much to see. Where'd my seahorse go? Ooh. Like the turtle. Does the turtle make sounds? Let's see. And we want another three of you yet. Yes. Exactly like you, just a little bit different. You can't all be the same, that'd be weird. Yeah. But very close. Very close, you're pretty perfect, buddy. Can't imagine a baby getting much more perfect than this one. Okay. Britt and I both have sore backs. I think I pinched, I got a pinched sciatica nerve in my back, so like, there's times where I feel like I can barely walk. So I'm fighting with that, trying to, there's good days and bad days. Britt's got similar ailments. <laughs> I'm just broken all over. We're getting old. Yeah. <laughs> we want more kids though, so we can't get old too fast. But anyways, uh, it's been a long day today. Got a lot done. Did a lot of running around and we're gonna leave it right here. I'm home for another couple of days, for about another day and a half. So for tomorrow, and then the day after that, there will be, uh, we're headed to Kenora. So say goodbye, Theo.